Hey guys, Glitchy here with another quick quest. Today's episode will focus on getting the high scores for the Flantastic 7. So without further ado, let's deep dive into this. Each individual beaten Flan will award you with an ability and ingredients. When you have beaten all 7, you will be awarded with an Oracalcum Plus and a Flaniversary badge. The first Flan can be found in Olympus. Make your stop in the Overlook and walk up the stairs to find the Cherry Flan. Interacting with the Flan will start its minigame. You will have to surf on Goofy's shield and hit Flans on your way down. Make sure to not hit the walls too many times as it slows you down and when you come to a full stop, it will be over. The trick here is to aim to hit the flans, well duh, but also to use these orange reddish arrows on the ground. They push you forward with a speed boost and will also point you toward other flans. Getting over 20k will award you with a form change extender ability and 3 times sour cherry. Next stop is the tower of Kingdom of Corona. When you've landed, do a 180 and run through the cave into the field. You will be instantly greeted by the orange flan. This minigame requires you to take pictures of flans just as they're posing. You will require at least 6 excellent shots to achieve the high score. You can follow this route to achieve that score. Of course, there are others you could explore, but these were the easiest. Let's see. Let's see. These were the easiest in my opinion. When you achieved over 23k score, you will receive treasure magnet and 3 times an orange ingredient. Now you can embark to the rest area and toy box. Right in front of you at the save point will be the strawberry flan. In this minigame you will be locked into the teacup attraction flow. Your goal is to hit flans that are walking around. These flans will be thrown on top of you and you will need to create the highest tower possible. There are flans on boulders trying to hit you though, and when they do, your stack will drop and you will need to pick up more. The trick here is to create a high stack and stay near the middle, as there is no ceiling to stop your tower to grow. Make sure to find cover when the huge boulder comes at you though. Getting over 17k will award you the attraction extender ability and 3 strawberries. In Monstropolis, there is this little hidden area where you can find the banana flan. From the basement war point, Head back, run toward the end of this room toward the transportation doors, and on the left here will be a wooden door that leads to this area. This could be a tricky minigame, but there's a simple solution. Make sure to have thunder in your quick buttons and also some high ethers. This minigame will feature an enormous flan surrounded by smaller ones. The huge flan will try to eat you, and you need to vanquish the smaller ones. The game ends when you get eaten, so be sure to dodge a huge one as best as you can. I found that using thunder while moving is extremely effective. You will float across the floor while casting, so you are still a moving target for the huge flan. Keep on using thunder to kill the small flans and use a high ether when you run out of juice. Getting over 20k will award you with the grand magic extender ability and 3 bananas. Next up is the mountain ridge in Arendelle. You know where the castle is. Next to the Moogle shop is a ledge where you can jump down. Right on the bottom of this jump will be the Grape Flan. 
This minigame is somewhat the same as the previous one as you need to destroy the flans as soon as possible. These flans will shoot blizzards towards you. You can block these and send them back for more points, but all it does is freeze the enemy and make them ready for an insta kill. So I'd suggest using a thunder spam strategy here, but you can put in some blocks when you see them coming, but finish them off with your magic spells to be fast enough. Getting over 20k will ward you with a unison blizzard ability and 3 grapes. The fort in the Caribbean has the watermelon flan. This can be a frustrating minigame without the right strategy. You will need to hit cannons to shoot flans that are flying towards you, and in the middle is a bell that will fire all 4 cannons 3 times in a row. My strategy was to hit the bell at the start to initiate its cooldown immediately. Then hit the cannons where the row of flans is the largest and keep on alternating cannons this way. Using square will make you travel faster between these cannons. Right when you see the very large flan appear, the bell should be out of cooldown, so hit the bell. The cannon should be able to hit it easily. Repeat these steps since the huge flan will appear one or two times more, and after a while the smaller flans will also change direction, so be sure to hit them as soon as possible. Getting over 29k will award you with a focus siphon and 3 watermelons. When you want to land in San Francisco for the final flan, make sure to select nighttime. In the south district, on top of this building, will be the melon flan. This is a rather unique minigame as you need to jump once and then fall in style. Sorry, Toy Story joke. You need to jump from flan to flan, but once you bounce on one, you can't fall on the same one while its mouth is opened. It will eat you otherwise. So you will need to alter flan once you bounce on another. After a couple bounces, a previous flan's head will start to sparkle. You can then bounce on that one again and you will be sent across town to different groups of flans. There you will need to perform the same strategy and keep on flying across town on top of flans heads. Getting over 15k will net you the attraction extender and 3 melon ingredients. And that will be it. If you did all of these in order, the melon one will also give you the Oracalcum Plus and Flaniversary badge. Else the one you did last will award you these. Well, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and that it was helpful to you. There are surely more guides to come, so stick around for those. Until the next time, stay safe and may your heart be your guiding key.